Welcome back to Martin James Designs, episode three. We're putting this engine block back in the uh, Dyna and gonna get it all dressed up, starting to anyways. Uh, but there's a few things I gotta do, a lot of small detail work ahead of me before we do that. So I figured we'd just jump right into it and I'll kind of go over exactly what I'm hoping to get done on this episode. So I'm gonna just start gathering the small parts I need, like the engine mounts, the motor mounts, all of those things, the things I'm gonna be powder coating. It's gonna be pretty finicky. I'm just gonna be doing a bit at a time. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get started on that and get it all ready so we can get this engine put in. Okay, I got basically the inner trans cover bolts, engine mounts, kickstand hardware, front engine mounts, starter bolts, the kickstand, top trans cover all these things are kind of uh, important to get this bike uh, engine put back in so I got all my setup ready to go I'm going to start uh, using the parts cleaning station and then I got some soap and water I'm going to start cleaning everything slowly here <laughs> Okay, as I'm cleaning all these parts, I've powder coated bolts at my buddy Dennis's house before, but now that I got my new powder coat set up, I'm able to do everything on my own. So I'm trying to find the best way to powder coat bolts. I've come up with uh, a few ideas, but the one like this, I've cut a piece of metal, drilled holes in it so I can slide the bolts there. So when I powder coat them, uh, the powder won't get on the threads and it's connected uh, conductive with metal. So that's one option, but I just grabbed cardboard, taped it with high heat tape. Now I've just drilled little holes and I've been able to just pop the bolts right through and labeled them what they are. So I'll take a picture of this before I start powder coating. Um, so that way if powder gets all over it, it doesn't matter because I can reference the photo. So. I'm going to go ahead and start popping all these in and we'll see if this even works. evenly coated like it definitely worked it was just uh the powder didn't want to stick as good as i'd like it to but if you look at that i mean it did turn out pretty good these bolts here see it's all even got right in there i know it's a little crazy there was no metal grounding the bolts uh, but i just felt like it would work I did have to hot coat it just so it helped bond the powder better to the bolt. So I just threw them in the oven really quick, uh, maybe like two minutes, three minutes, brought them out and then hot flocked them. And uh, I still used the ground on the underside of the bolts in a few areas. Okay, I'm back in the garage this morning. And today it's so insane. There's trees falling all over our property. There's one hanging on our power line. So the power's been going off and on. So I'm waiting for Dennis to get here, but we're hoping the power's not gonna go out because we're gonna try to get that engine put in. So uh, that's kind of the plan. And I'm gonna get this uh, inner primary cover powder coated too. So uh, that's what we're gonna get onto today. Okay, well, I keep prepping the uh inner primary I'm gonna move away from that got Dennis back we're gonna put this engine in so that's the plan uh, I powder coated the kickstand because I'm gonna get that in first and then I powder coated all the bolts that we need to put the engine in get that put back in and then uh, we'll go from there
Look at this freaking weather. Look at that. That's ice. Dennis just drove underneath all the power lines hanging. <laughs> it's like raining ice. Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Holy, oh my God. Yeah. Holy. This is crazy. I've never seen it like this before. Power went out. We got lights with the engine half installed. And we're gonna get her done. This is dedication. gonna quickly run down to Dennis's and get this bearing pressed in the inner primary and uh, then we can start getting it installed. You can see the motor mount bolts and washers were powder coated. The kickstand turned out really good and it's all nice and clean and easy to get in now before we put the engine in. So that's that polar white. The engine looks really good. Powder coated. The engine mounts, these bolts got powder coated. I powder coated these front bolts here. Pretty much anything that was visible, I powder coated the trans plug white and uh, I still gonna paint this. And um, yeah, everything else is looking pretty clean. So the engine's fully in, most of the harnesses are reconnected. And uh, the next step on the engine is to get all of the covers put back on the inner primary cover, the swing arm, and uh, start dressing everything up and get this section complete. So you'll see that come together in the next few episodes. Engine's in. That went super smooth. Uh, the inner primary has been powder coated, took care of that, got the bearing pressed in and the seal put in. So the next episode, I'm going to dedicate to getting all of these parts powder coated. My brother's going to come over. We're going to go over all the details of what colors go in what, get all those components powder coated. So then we can start dressing this engine back up. So I just want to thank all you guys for leaving the really nice comments. Um, ask any questions you guys have. I love answering them for you. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with these episodes frequently so you can follow along on this build. And I just want to point out that I'm still learning and, and I'm making mistakes, but I'm, I'm loving what I'm doing and I'm going to keep moving forward. So I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. And um, with that being said, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one.